And now the Cavaliers will get their first possession. Markinen for three. Dances off the iron. Mobley comes out of a parachute and thunders it in for the first bucket. For Jackson senses a mismatch, tries to take Allen off the dribble. Finds Batum. Never let that ball dip below his shoulders. He practices those shots every day. Misfires there. He practices those shots every day. Misfires there. Sexton back the other way. Great recovery defense by Bledsoe. Saves it as he's running out of bounds. This is Garland for three. Bledsoe on the prowl. Dashes down the lane. A lot of skull and crossbones in there with those three seven-footers. George glides inside but cannot lay it home. Well, confusion offensively. Let's see if George can bail him out. They've got time. Zubac down the lane. Oh, maybe one of the most potential unconventional buckets. Garland barnstorms the lane, gives to Markham, and the ball knocked out of his hands. It goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Cavaliers. Got a 60% chance of being picked up by a seven-footer out on the floor. Jackson takes his chances out on the perimeter, misses on the 19-foot. Paul George yet to score here this first half. Stops at the foul line. 0 for 5 in this first half. 38% on the road, and yet you lead by 11. Great pass inside. Markin and unable to convert. Gets his own rebound. The putback is good. Count it. And a foul. 38% on the road, and yet you lead by 11. Great pass inside. Markin and unable to convert. Gets his own rebound. The putback is good. Count it. And a foul. 38% on the road, and yet you lead by 11. Great pass inside. Markin and unable to convert. Gets his own rebound. The putback is good. Count it. And a foul. Health issues. He's missed 83 games in his first four years. I talked about it. This is only the fourth time we have seen him play after being drafted in 2017. Kennard take advantage here. Stymied inside, and the Clippers give it away. Ten turnovers now. Sexton sandwiched in between two would be defenders. Oh, oh, oh my! Respect for Sexton. His third slam here in the first half, and it's a 14 point lead for the Cavaliers. For what it is worth, Clippers are four for seven here in the quarter. Cavaliers five for nine. Garland pretends to shoot the three, finds an open market and inside, and he slams it in. Well, this miscommunication. Clippers eight for 30. They've made eight buckets. The Cavaliers have seven dunks. Markkanen for three. He misses everything. Osman for the Cavs finds Markkanen. Rebound knocked out of bounds goes back to the Clippers But you know what the Cavs not playing well, but this is the kind of game that they want to play too though on the road It's kind of ugly no rhythm offensively But it bodes well for this, this is on the heels of the Clippers playing a terrific Defensive game against the Blake and George surveys the scene as he brings it across half court watched by Mark and then runs into him a whistle And a foul just the second foul of the quarter against the Cavaliers Six to shoot for the Cavs. Marketing out of control. Here comes Reggie Jackson the other way. Clippers could go two for one if they manage the time. Batum, a step in three, and he knocks it down. Batum feeling it. Drives the lane. Finds an open George. On the flyby, it's Marketing. Back to Batum for three. Ah, he didn't have. There were times last year when the Clipper offense wasn't good and they'd be shooting in the mid 30s, and it would affect their effort defensively. George stumbles into the paint. Not great spacing for the Clippers. Bledsoe. Mm, right, right there, marking him right there with that size. J.B. Bickerstaff has done a great job. Mobley, late in the clock, marking it in a guard of three. Well, Kobe Altman, too, in regards to kind of finding the pieces that are going to fit together, kind of do their job and supply you with the right mix of players. Four minutes off the fourth quarter clock. George. No. Four for 16 tonight.